This is Stockholm. In this city, we have a long established waste management system with its many stakeholders, depots where the trucks are dispatched, waste collection points and final disposal site or recycling center indeed making it a complex system. Just taking a glance at it, we can notice straight away that there are different types of vehicles as well as companies handling the waste. Is this the best way to do it? I can see there are often traffic congested streets and the air pollution is getting worse and worse. As a citizen, I'm paying for this and I wonder if this is the smarter way to do it. So just how efficient this system is? And how can we propose changes in the system in order to make it a more efficient one? These questions can be answered by using big data. This data produced over a period of five years gave us a notion of how the system works and how efficient it is. For instance, how many types of waste and who deals with each? In Stockholm, there are over 30 companies handling different types of waste. Some categories are handled by many companies. For instance, fat is operated by over 10 companies. Some small, some massive in terms of the share they collect. The type of fleet used by the companies, production of waste and time per type. To model the system, we use an innovative GIS program called CardoDB to see the big data graphically. And for the VRP heuristic, we used an open source software called Open Door Logistics to generate the optimized routes. With the maps, we could do several cool things, like displaying real-time information, waste collection points for the stakeholders. We could also see the system as it behaves currently and compare it versus the optimized system, where the companies have a better share of the points and the routes are traced in a more distance and time efficient way. The program also gives numerical results to know the savings and distance and time. The savings were massive for all the simulations, all of them saving about 50% in terms of distance and time traveled, which in essence means yearly savings for the whole system of about 0.5 million euros plus 62 tons of CO2 emission avoidance. Can you imagine a startup that could bring this type of savings to an existing system in any city of the world? How much would this company be worth? Taking these solutions into the practical world would mean to create district zones dividing the load of the waste generated between the number of companies handling it and maybe even reduce the number of companies. Doing this would reorganize the entire system of routes in a more optimal way and divide the load in a more efficient way. The smart cities way. So as a real-life example, Barcelona tackled the big data problem by installing sensors on each waste container. This is a nice solution but also goes along with the cost of implementing it. It doesn't have to be this way necessarily. You can easily implement an app in smartphones or GPS systems already installed to keep a live demand tracking of the system. Now this city looks better. Fewer trucks in the city, meaning better air quality and more money saved, which can be spent in other city necessities. 